Ciao. My name is Lydia Yuknovich and I'm the author of The Chronology of Water. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the book It's a Memoir, or an anti-memoir from my point of view. And the story really began for me in a place of grief or loss uh, when my daughter died, the day she was born. And I was looking for a way to survive that grief and loss and bring the feeling of all that pain to some kind of form that would help me stay alive in my own life. For anyone who's experienced deep loss or pain, you know what I mean. Uh, and what I found was when I started storytelling about different images in my life that were important to me, it helped me to feel stronger. It helped me give my grief a place and a form. And so I began telling stories about water because I love water. When I was a very small child, I used to jump in water anytime we were near it, like lakes and rivers or swimming pools at hotels but I didn't know how to swim. So my parents gave me swimming lessons and I became a competitive swimmer for 20 years. So I live next to an ocean. I was born next to an ocean. I know a lot about water. And I started telling stories about memory and water and love and anger and loss and all the stories began to take on the shape of waves and rivers and it gave me a way to survive. So this book is really a love letter to anyone who kind of wanted to give up or didn't know how to go on when something happened to you, which happens to all of us eventually. I hope that the stories in it can give you a little peace or hope or what I hope most of all is that my storytelling will help you remember to give yourself the grace and the peace and the prayer of storytelling to yourself. We don't have to live with what happens to us. We can tell different stories than the ones we're carrying that are too heavy. And we can tell them to one another to help each other go on. So I hope that my stories can help you find your stories. And if you'd like to send something to me in return, in terms of storytelling, I'd be happy to read it. I wrote this book with all my heart for you, and I thank you for being willing to take it into your life. Thank you.